guys, it's Madison, and I'm the content developer here at Gold Biotechnology. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a sterile antibiotic stock solution using our antibiotic easy packs. The best thing about these products is that it comes with our antibiotics pre-measured and included filtration mechanisms to make a sterile stock solution. If you want to learn how to make this sterile stock solution, then let's go ahead and get started. Our easy packs come with everything you need to make a sterile stock solution. Our 10 ml easy packs include one bottle of pre-measured antibiotic powder, one empty bottle for the final sterile solution, one sterile syringe, and a 0.2 micron sterile filter. Our larger easy packs come in volumes to make 25, 50, and 100 milliliter solutions. They all include one bottle of pre-measured antibiotic powder. They also include one vacuum filter system. The top of the system is the vacuum filter. The final sterile solution will be filtered into the sterile container in the bottom. A lid is also included to seal the container. Now I'll demonstrate how to use our smaller 10 mil easy packs using a syringe filter method. First I add 9.2 mils of double distilled water into the bottle containing the antibiotic powder. Another thing I love about this product is that it has the amount of water that should be added to the vial listed on the front of the vial. After the water is added, I replace the cap and mix the solution until all of the product goes into solution. I then open up my sterile syringe as well as the vial and aspirate as much liquid as I can into the syringe. Only remove the top of the sterile filter packaging. Do not touch the bottom side of the filter as you will risk contaminating your stock solution. Use the packaging to help you screw it on. Screw the tip of the syringe into the filter. Carefully place the tip of the filter over the vial that does not contain any product. Slowly push down on the plunger and allow all of the solution to flow through the filter. Once all of the solution has been filtered, close up the top of the solution bottle. You can go ahead and discard the filter and the syringe. To extend the shelf life of your antibiotic, you can store the solution at negative 20 degrees Celsius. We recommend making aliquots of this solution into sterile Eppendorf tubes or PCR tubes to avoid the freeze-thaw cycles and minimize risk of contamination. This will extend the shelf life of your antibiotics. Next I'm going to be demonstrating how to use our larger easy packs. In this tutorial, I'll be using our 100 milliliter easy pack to demonstrate. So first I'll be adding the volume of double distilled water that's necessary to the bottle. Here I had it pre-measured according to the instructions on the front side of the bottle. Next I replace the cap and mix until all the product goes into solution. After that I remove the vacuum filter from the packaging. Attach the vacuum hose according to instructions on the filter packaging. Remove the lid and add solution to the upper cup of the filter. Apply the vacuum pressure and let all the solution in the top cup flow through the filter and into the bottom cup. Stop vacuuming when all the solution is filtered. Then remove the vacuum attachment from the filter and close the bottle with the provided sterile cap. You can go ahead and discard the vacuum filter. Tightly seal the solution bottle and label as necessary. 
Again, it's a good idea to aliquot your stock solutions to minimize the risk of contamination and limit the amount of freeze-thaw cycles that your reagents go through. Store your solution at negative 20 degrees Celsius. Now you know how to use our antibiotic easy patch. For all your life science needs, go ahead and visit goldbio.com. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe and comment down below what kind of tutorials you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.